Nananatiling nakabantay ang Estados Unidos sa na nagaganap ngayon na pagpapaulan ng Iran ng mga missiles sa Israel. Kasama po ni U.S. President Joe Biden si Vice President Kamala Harris para makakuha ng impormasyon sa pinakahuling sitwasyon doon sa Israel. Sinabi naman ni White House National Security Council Advisor Jake Sullivan na tinutulungan nila ang Israeli military para pabagsakin ang mga missiles ng Iran. Iniutos kasi ni Biden ang paggamit ng U.S. Naval Destroyers na tutulong sa Israeli Air Defense Units. Hindi naman bababa, bababa sa dalawang daang missiles ang pinaulan ng Iran sa Israel. Una na pong sinabi ng Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps ng Iran na ang missile attacks ay bilang pagganti nila yan sa mga nasawing mga mamamayan ng Gaza at Lebanon. Gayon din ang pagpatay kay Hezbollah Chief Hassan Nasrallah at IRGC Commander Arbas Nelforoshan. Ayon naman kay Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder na tuloy-tuloy ang ginagawang pagbabantay ngayon sa sitwasyon sa Israel. Hanggang sa ngayon ay wala pang balak ang Amerika na magsagawa ng evacuation ng mga mamamayan nila na nasa Israel. Narito pa ang karagdagang pahayag ni Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder. Well, look, like I said before, um, we've been monitoring this for a while. Uh, Iran had been very public uh, about its threats to uh, retaliate, uh, and so it's it's something that we've been monitoring. Uh, certainly, this was a, a significant attack, uh, probably about twice the, the size in terms of scope uh, of what we saw earlier. Um, but again, we're still assessing the outcomes of this. Uh, and, and as I highlighted at the top, uh, we certainly condemn this reckless attack, this direct attack against uh, Israel, and we'll continue to uh, support Israel's defense. Broadly speaking, uh, you know, the, the U.S. has been clear that uh, there will be security, economic consequences uh, should Iran attack. Uh, but I just don't have anything preview to preview, um, you know, specifically as it relates to Pahayag po yan ni Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder.